In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. That your joy may be full. And the king granted him all his request according to the hand of the Lord his God upon him. Ezra 7 verse 6. Christ would have everyone possess in abundance the grace of heaven. He desires that his joy may be in you and that your joy may be full. Every soul is to discipline himself in strict, faithful service, just as verily out of meeting as in meeting. You are in full view of the heavenly angels, and every faithful disciple may be, if he will, as was Ezra before the king. The hand of God is upon all those for good who seek him, but his power and his wrath are against those who forsake him, and who trust in the help and friendship of the world, going to the God of Ekron to inquire and heeding not the counsel of the living God. The children of God will know who is their helper. They will know in whom they can trust implicitly, and with Christ's help, they may, without presumption, have a holy confidence. Yes, his servants may safely trust in him alone without fear, looking unto Jesus, pressing on in obedience to his requirements, leaving everything that is joined to the world, whether the world opposes or favors. Their success comes from God, and they will not fail because they have not the wealth and influence of wicked men. If they fail, it will be because they do not obey the Lord's requirements and the Holy Spirit is not with them. Our only safety is in being joined to the Lord Jesus Christ. We can afford to lose the friendship of worldly men. Those who join themselves to worldly men that they may carry out their unsanctified purposes make a fearful mistake, for they forfeit the favor and blessing of God. I am to urge upon the attention of our people that the Lord himself has placed a wall of separation between the world and that which he has established on the earth. God's people are to serve him, for Christ has called them out of the world and sanctified and refined them, that they may do his service. There is no such thing as maintaining concord between the profane and the holy. There can be no concord between Christ and Belial. But the Lord hath set apart him that is godly for himself. Psalm 4, verse 3. And this consecration to the Lord, this separation from the world, is plainly declared and positively enjoined in both the Old and the New Testaments.